to install the plugin, upload the zip file here. This plugin has different cart widgets. First, we'll learn about sidebar cart. This cart widget can show up as a floating icon and open the sidebar cart window when you click it. In this settings page, configure the general settings of sidebar cart. With this option, it helps open the sidebar cart with any button. Simply get the element class or ID and place it here. Now, let's see how you customize the sidebar cart. Go to Customize by this button. Here are the customized settings for sidebar cart. General settings, like style, cart position, and some effects. Next is cart icon, which is used to open sidebar cart. settings in this page is for the cart header. Customize the cart body in this settings page. And lastly in the sidebar cart, the cart footer, you can show or hide discount amount here, choose type of price to display, subtotal, price of all items in the cart, or total, which includes tax fees or shipping, customize the checkout button, moreover, you can showcase suggested products in custom message using this shortcode, add this shortcode here, you'll be able to select specific type for your recommendations, and style them, The next feature to discover is menu cart, which lets you display cart on any menu, enable this function, and simply select a menu in this option. The list of menus will be updated automatically when you edit your menu here. Then configure some settings in this page if needed. That's pretty much it. To make the menu cart show on the selected menu, let's take a look. Menu cart shows up on hovering. To design the menu cart, go to customize page. In this part, we'll learn about Add to Cart button. First is the effect of the button on hover. This applies to the button anywhere, single page or product list. Then, you can make the page not reload when adding product to cart. On single product page, simply enable this option. Exclude specific products by adding their title here. Let's take a look. After the Ajax Add to Cart function, is the Add to Cart function for variable products on product list. Enable pop-up for them. Edit the Add to Cart button title if needed. Lastly, is the sticky add to cart function. It works only on single product page. Just like Ajax add to cart, you can also exclude specific products or even categories. Now, let's see how we can style this function on single product page. Go to customize settings. Enable this option to make the sticky add to cart bar always visible. Otherwise, it'll only appear when you scroll past the add to cart button. Like this, select a sample product page to preview. There are four templates and two position. Show or hide product rating and the quantity field.
edit the Add to Cart button title. If you want this function on mobile, switch the preview mode here, now, you can style the sticky add to cart on mobile devices. The next function, will let you display customers recently viewed products, on single product page, enable the function, and select a position for recently viewed products on page, set up the general settings for them. And let's check the result. Other than on product page, you can also show them anywhere using shortcode. Copy the shortcode and insert it to your target position. I'll try with my account page. This function will be useful when you want to quickly apply the settings on a website to another website. First copy the settings, go to the same settings page on your another website, place the copied settings here, and click import settings. When using Cybar Cart, you can allow users to finish their order right in the widget. Instead of card and checkout page, go to customize settings and set up the checkout section. Enable function to allow users to place orders on sidebar card. Otherwise, customer can see either the view cart button, which will redirect them to the cart page, or the checkout button, which leads to the checkout page. Enable this option to combine all checkout steps on one page, or disable it to break the process into steps. This option is to allow users to navigate between steps using arrow keys on their keyboard. Combine or separate billing and shipping steps, and the same with orders and payment steps. Enable the back to cart button and customize it, the button of next step, the button of previous step, and the place order button. Lastly, is the step bar. 